If you were to order chicken teriyaki in Japan, it would kind of look something like this. Maybe a few too many green onions, like they're hiding something. But the meat is juicy, and the outside is glazed. It is a little different from the Western version of the dish, the big difference being in the sauce. So, let's make chicken teriyaki with a super simple sauce. Teriyaki sauce in Japan is called tare. It's a sweet and salty sauce that's most commonly brushed on yakitori when it's grilled. Most of the time, teriyaki sauce in the US comes in a bottle and is flavored with anything from sesame seeds to ginger, garlic, chili flakes. But real teriyaki sauce has none of these things. While in the US, teriyaki sauce is used as a marinade, in Japan, chicken teriyaki is not marinated beforehand. The sauce is actually made as it's being cooked. So instead of measurements, just remember this ratio for teriyaki sauce. Two, two, one, one. Two parts soy sauce, two parts sake, one part mirin, and one part sugar. For two chicken thighs, I will use about four tablespoons each of sake and soy sauce. And then two tablespoons each of mirin and sugar. As mentioned, the sauce is formed as the chicken is being cooked, so you don't actually need to heat this now. I'm just doing this to dissolve the sugar so it incorporates better later. This right here is what's called tare in Japan. Before we get to the chicken, I'm just going to prepare a quick garnish of steamed broccoli. For easy florets, turn the broccoli on its head and cut while rotating. Make sure to keep these stems for stir fries. Catch any rogue pieces that roll off. Break or cut any large florets in half. Steam the florets for six minutes and remove to cool down. Let's set those aside. Okay, let's get to the chicken. I'll be using thighs. Cut the thighs in half and then half again until you have pieces like this with the skin on. Continue cutting into bite-sized pieces like this so they're easy to pick up with chopsticks. With the chicken cut, let's briefly season with salt, and pepper on each side. Dust each piece of chicken in katakuriko, which is starch. It is a great insurance policy for getting a nice crust on the outside while preventing the meat from overcooking and keeping it juicy inside. Plus, it will help thicken the sauce. Okay, so we have everything ready to make chicken teriyaki. So let's get our frying pan hot. Once hot, add a little vegetable oil. Once the oil shimmers, cook the chicken with the skin side down. I like to add the chicken in the form of a circle around the frying pan, then the remaining pieces in the center. This works because the center will be hotter, so the pieces added later will cook quicker. Once they start to get a little color, give each piece a flip and let it brown on that side too. Give the pan a little shake to make sure they aren't sticky. This is a very common technique. We're gonna remove some of the oil with a paper towel. Grab a paper towel with tongs and tilt the pan like this to absorb as much oil as possible. Toss the paper towel once it has absorbed as much as it can. It's looking good right here, so let's add our sauce. It may look thin going into the pan, but don't worry. It will thicken with a little time and a medium low heat. Keep it moving. With the sugar in the sauce, it has the tendency to burn very easily. Periodically give them a flip to make sure they get coated on both sides. If you're finding this video useful, leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. Keep cooking until the sauce is thickened to the point it has almost disappeared. This right here is looking like some teriyaki. Let's get ready to serve. Okay, our chicken teriyaki is done cooking. Let's get ready to plate. On top of a bowl of rice, add your vegetable garnish on one side, leaving space for the chicken on the other. We'll top that with a few sprinkles of sesame seeds and green onions. And there it is, chicken teriyaki. Let's give it a taste. Sometimes it just tastes so good, all you can do is shake your head. The glaze on it is so good, the chicken is nice and juicy inside. So there it is, chicken teriyaki. 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more recipes just like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.